Catherine. Welcome to day six of my 12 days of Christmas and today I'm looking at six Irish Christmas traditions and I'm going to look at the ones that I relate to the most. There are lots and lots of Irish traditions as you can imagine and I might look at them sometime in the future but for today I'm looking at six that I really relate to. So number one has already happened. It already happened a little while ago and it is the Late Late Toy Show. And I'm, I feel like this might be a bit of an ad for RTE because there's at least two things in, in this list that are related to RTE, which is the national television station in Ireland. And the first one is this Late Late Toy Show, which I think from the outside, it's justifiable in it in people's or in people being cynical of it. I, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but yeah, people are justifiably cynical of it. It does look like just one one long ad for toys, which is basically what it is. But um, it's the late late to toy show. The late late show is taken over once a year by lots of kids, lots of toys. Kids come on and. They give their reviews of toys. There's little performances with kids. Everybody kind of sits in and watches it. And it was a big deal when we were growing up. Mom would always buy pizza and Coke. We didn't normally get those kind of things. So we had those things on toy show night and it was brilliant. You got to stay up late as well. So definitely fond memories of the Late Late Toy Show. I would recommend going on YouTube and looking at it. This year they had a, um, dad come home from the Irish Defence Forces and meet his kids and the Irish Defence Forces um are, they work really hard as peacekeeping forces across the world and it was just so sweet to see these kids like meet their dad after being months away from him um, so yeah it's that kind of thing it's cringe factor but then they'll pull on the heartstrings and I don't know it's just fun and I every year I there's a part of me that gets really cynical when I watch it but then when I see it I'm like oh now I know why I like it so much so yeah you know, you may you may or may not agree with me, especially if you're from Ireland and you know what it's like. But yeah, I love the Late Late Toy Show and it's one of the main Irish Christmas traditions. Another Christmas tradition, which isn't really exclusive to Ireland, to be fair, is the candle in the window. Uh, I know a lot of people in my family that do this, a lot of friends that do this. It's when you put a candle in a window these years it tends to be battery operated, at least it does for my mum. And it's supposed to symbolise welcoming uh, strangers or people who are lost into your home. I think obviously it has Christian orange origins with uh, Mary and Joseph looking for the inn and all that kind of thing. But it's definitely something that has been around um, for a long, 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 long time. So I told you there was a second RTE uh, Christmas tradition and this was a huge thing in our house. I don't know since I left Ireland if this, a big de if, if this is a big deal anymore, but it certainly was for us. And anyone of my generation who was an 80s, 90s kid will probably recognize this as being a big tradition. This is when everybody goes out and buys their bumper RTE guide for Christmas. Uh, we didn't really get it any other time of the year except for Christmas because it was two weeks and you could plan out what was on TV and that was a big deal. I guess it's our version of the TV guide in the States but yeah it was a big deal and everybody would have their pens out and we'd all circle and we were all allowed to take turns so we didn't fight and yeah we got to pick what films we were going to watch, what specials we were going to watch. It was a big deal in our house so yeah that was the RTE guide. The fourth big Irish Christmas tradition revolves around chocolate and I've tried to split this up into three main parts. So I assumed when I left Ireland that everybody knew what a selection box was, but I was wrong. That isn't true. Uh, that is a very old Irish thing to have a selection box. I know that it's in Britain as well. Um, so this is where like a confectionery company like Mars or Cadbury or Nestle or something like that will put together a 
box for Christmas with their best-selling bars in it or in some cases their best-selling bars and a couple of duds so you know everybody's kind of fighting over bars that they don't really like or bars that they wouldn't normally buy during the year so this is a big deal when you grew up when you were growing up especially in the 80s and 90s because we never got big bars as kids we all always had the little ones um, which is a good thing of course but yeah it was a big real big treat to sit down on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning watching zig and zag or whatever Christmas special was on and having a little selection box and you know your your cup of tea and all that kind of thing so selection box is a big deal and um, the other thing that was a big deal in our house was fighting over the pur purple chocolate whether it was in the ca the quality street or the roses there was always a fight over the purple chocolates especially if I was with all of my cousins and we were down in my aunt's house that was the big t thing to get all the purple chocolates they were like this chocolate with caramel and a hazelnut in the middle and it was a big deal and um, with my own house the big deal was um, tea cakes which are those mar mallow cakes with the biscuits at the bottom and they've changed a lot luckily they've become too sweet I don't really like any of this stuff anymore and I'm glad I gave up chocolate because you can see this is why I'm a fat person I loved chocolate too much but yeah chocolate was a big deal and uh, my mom always had tea cakes in the house at Christmas and it's the only time of year we ate them and it's the only time of the year that we got them so yeah lots and lots of chocolate in an Irish household for Christmas and number five on my list is Christmas specials TV specials nowadays I believe it's Mrs. Brown's boys which is the big Christmas special I don't watch it but for me the big Christmas special when we were growing up was the Father Ted Christmas special which I will tell you Mr. Cronin still on a weekly basis quotes that particular Christmas special the one where um, I'm not going to spoil it actually I'm good because I, I assume a lot of people here haven't seen Father Ted and I would urge you to go watch it but there are uh, there's a particular Christmas special there's two I think but there's definitely one that um, everybody was waiting for and really excited about and it is one of the most quotable episodes from Father Ted and most Irish people will know exactly what you're talking about if you quote certain lines from Father Ted Christmas special so I would urge you to go look at go check it out it's hilarious okay and the last thing doesn't really relate to me anymore but it was definitely a big thing when I was growing up so I was raised Catholic but I don't I'm no longer practice Catholicism I'm no longer religious at all but it was a big deal on Christmas Eve to go out for drinks and then everybody meets the whole family meets for midnight mass in Christmas Eve uh, on Christmas Eve in church Again, something I assumed was like everywhere, but apparently this is very particular to Ireland and maybe Britain as well. But the idea of midnight mass and actually having it on midnight, I think that has changed nowadays. I think more, they've kind of rolled them back to 11, 10 and 9. Um, but Christmas Eve, midnight mass was where you met everybody, all the neighbours, all the friends, and you had to act as if you hadn't had one too many pints in the pub before you went to Christmas Eve mass. I know a few people who shall remain nameless that failed miserably every Christmas Eve to pretend uh, to look sober. Yeah. Anyway, it's always good fun and that's what Christmas is all about, right? It's all about family and friends and yeah, you'd go and you'd say hello to everybody and say hello to the priest and you'd see the church and it was all warm and cosy and packed to the rafters and loads of candles and all that kind of thing. So that was Christmas Eve mass, but the most important thing for me was Christmas Eve drinks. Sorry, I know, I'm a heathen. Okay, so they are my six Irish traditions, at least the ones that resonate the most with me as I was growing up. Please let me know in the comments if you have any Christmas traditions of your own. I'd love to hear them. I have realized that my Christmas traditions are all to do with fun, friends and food, the three Fs. Go figure. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.